As agencies see the increasing impact of the opioid crisis across Central Oregon. I'm sad to say that we've been seeing kids as young as 12 for um, addiction, substance abuse use. The Oregon Health Authority announcing it will direct $1.25 million to addiction treatment infrastructure in Redmond. Blaine Lawrence with New Priorities, a mental health and addiction recovery center in Redmond, says more facilities are needed to keep up with the increasing demand, especially for their younger clients. With our teens has been cannabis, alcohol, um, recently meth, um, some fentanyl. Uh, navigating that is difficult, especially when they're so young, we need to try to work with the families. And so it can be difficult to get everyone involved. Um, also having the resources uh, to, to do treatment with those families. The Deschutes County Jail also struggling with the ongoing crisis. It impacts the jail quite significantly. Um, we see it every day, individuals that are coming in where they may have committed a crime, but their root cause is addiction. Deschutes County Jail Captain Michael Schultz says treatment centers are more effective in preventing repeat offenses and directing people away from a criminal justice system that often doesn't help with their addictions. You get that person treated and clean and now he's back into the community. Not only did you save that person's life, you helped that whole family. The more than a million dollars coming to Redmond for the facility are part of the settlements reached with pharmaceutical companies by the state of Oregon. In Bend, Colby Annabrad, Central Oregon Daily News.